find you Virgus Flymouth. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok. Please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of new videos. Hello, Ray Drops. I am in Royal High and I have some exciting information. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. So while I was watching Vionchi's stream, he started streaming about his updates that he's made so far on Campus 4 and also showed some sneak peeks for the Royal Ween update. And I even have a sneak peek of a new steampunk set or at least a reworked version of that. So first off, let's watch this where Vionchi was showing this building that I have been wondering what it is for a long time. I think it still has to be the ballroom. He, he didn't say, obviously, but with all these little rooms, it makes me think of rooms that you can go and do your makeup before the ball. And then um, here is what he has been working on with the library and coffee shop area so far. Um, it, I'm not sure that it's completed yet. This is another version of it that he showed at nighttime, which absolutely looks amazing. I love the lights and how it kind of looks at nighttime and he removed a couple of the floors there so we could see a little better and then it appears that the teacher's lounge is completed he did some final touches but I didn't see him do anything else on the inside so this is one view of the teacher's lounge and here is the other view of the teacher's lounge so like I said it does seem like it is finished but who knows Bianchi always likes to go in and kind of tweak little things here and there and then he was showing us some different views of the outside. And I have to say, this looks amazing. He finished up this little patio kind of walkway area right here near the teacher's lounge. And the windows and everything looks amazing. Of course, you can see the aquarium down at the bottom. And then he also started playing with the lights again. And so here's a look at what it looks like at nighttime. And it's not completely dark yet, but it kind of gives you at least a good idea of what it will look like when it is darker. And it looks amazing as always. I also believe all the guidance offices are finished, which they pretty much already had them done for Campus 3 anyway, so it looks like they just kind of copied and pasted there. There might be little changes, I'm sure, but for the most part, they look the same as Campus 3. And then this is another area that Bianchi was working on. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it has to do with the nurse's office and that kind of thing, but we'll have to see for sure what gets added to it later. And then there was a new field added to Campus 4. It could be rugby. It could also be a football field. It could be used for soccer. It could be many different things for this field. So that's exciting. And then this is a look at the stands where, you know, players could technically sit or go role play on the stands that goes along with that new field that's there. So it's a giant area that has been added. And then I wanted to share like my favorite thing. I know it's this little tiny detail, but I love the colors of this on the dorms. And I just wanted to show you guys an up close version of it because I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I hope Bianchi adds more of these everywhere around campus four as well. Here's a look at the fountain at nighttime. It looks magical. Of course, it's not completely finished because he was still tweaking this as he was ending the stream, so I'm sure it will look a little bit different than this because you can see he's working on the lights there. And then here's a look at the tower and then also the back of the office, which has these amazing stairs. And again, you can see the lights are in green because he was tweaking the lighting with those as well. So as you can see in the distance is a lot of Halloween stuff, which is super exciting. Bianchi said that everything obviously is not put in the right places or completely fixed or anything, but it's just kind of set out so that they can work on it. So Bianchi did this flyover in the stream super quick. So I wanted to show the video that he did or where he was flying over, and then we'll look at some closer pictures in just a second. But you can see it's definitely not finished, but there's a lot there already and a lot that he has started tweaking and obviously you can see that there's other people out there working on it as well. So I know a lot of people are super excited about this and he really showed a good bit. I thought 
at first it was just going to be that quick little glance, but no, it wasn't. So you can see that there's the pumpkin patch here with lots of pumpkins around and apple trees. Um, it's a lot of, some of the same stuff, I guess I should say, not a lot, but some of the same stuff from previous years, but obviously they are trying to change things up a good bit. And then here's another look at the pumpkins laid out all throughout as you go up the hill to the main area where you buy tickets. So I thought that was just really cute. And I'm sure that's going to be used for something for the Royal Ween as well, not just as decoration. And then here's a look at the left side of the ticket area. I'm not totally sure what that is yet. It could be the apple bobbing stations, which we have seen before. It could be something totally different. Um, obviously, there's nothing under the tent yet. And then here's another picture of the ticket area. And we can see some things back behind it. Some different areas like um, maybe this is where the crystal ball area is in one of these. It's hard to tell for sure. And then here's another view of it. So you can see that it is quite large, actually, and it has several different ticket areas. So it does fill up quite a bit of the map. So that's kind of exciting that it's not just this little tiny area. And then you can see the beautiful work that they have done so far with this. I love how they have kind of these sharp pointed edges which gives it the spookier feel and then obviously a lot of like stonework and stuff as well so I'm super excited to see what this will look like when it is finished which hopefully will be this coming October and then here's another look at one of the areas that Bianchi was kind of messing around with We'll have to see what they end up doing with this, but I know that that model in there is an older model, so we'll have to see if that gets updated or not. And then um, here is a look at one of the rides that is there, and then also the orange area that could possibly be for apple bobbing, but I'm not totally sure yet. And this is in the very center. It almost looks like some type of stage and you can sit on the hay bales. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've seen this in any of the Royal Wing updates from before because I'm not as familiar with it as some of you guys. But that is exciting to see and I can't wait to see what that will become. And then obviously there are other games. This was back behind that middle area. So we can see there are lots of kind of carnival type games, which will be fun. And then there's this big building that's behind it, which we will look at a little bit closer as well. And then there's something over to the right that looks like a portal type area, but I am not sure exactly what that is. So here's a different angle. So you can see this one is for basketball shooting. And then we have another tent beside it that doesn't have anything in it yet and then whatever this is over on the right which I guess technically could be one of those like hammer things that you slam the hammer down on until it goes to the top but I'm not sure because it doesn't look like that it looks like it has something to do with a pearl or something on the side so I'm not sure what that one will be if you know like I said let me know in the comments because I haven't seen it before but maybe you have and then here's another big tent that is there, but I can't tell obviously what it is. It was kind of out back behind it by itself. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that could possibly be. And here's a different view from overhead. You can also see a cauldron there in the middle that's just sitting there. That's obviously probably not going to be the spot that's going to stay in. Lots of different types of lighting as well. And then just kind of where everything's placed. Remember, this is all subject to change because he said nothing was finished and they've kind of just laid things out for now. But at least it gives us a good idea of what's coming. And then to the right, there are these three stones with three different colored lights in the middle. So I'm not sure what that is, but you guys might know. They were just kind of off to the side to themselves. And then near that area, you can see there is a graveyard. And I know it looks, at least to me, similar to the graveyard we have seen in the previous update last year for Royal Ween. So I'm thinking it's the same one. We'll have to see what they're going to choose to do with that one this year. And then on around, you can see there's another building up to the left. I don't know what's in that building yet, but you can see an orange glow coming from it and the doors are open. And this is behind the big orange light that we saw in the middle. 
Um, it's hard to tell what it is, but there are lots of candles and some of them are floating and you can see the arches there as well. But from another angle, um, there's also stuff underneath as well. Here's another picture of it. It's a little bit closer. Uh, still really, I'm not sure what it is. It just kind of looks like a bunch of rocks, but I'm sure it could be something else. But like I said, there's something underneath it. So that leads me to wonder if like you have to find a secret path or something through here or if there will be something like that involved. Here's what it looks like under when you know, she was doing a flyby. I saw this. It's like a, it looks like a path, but I don't know what it would be for. But this was kind of just back behind this big area on top. And he didn't like go close to this. He just happened to be right beside it. So I wanted to make sure I took a screenshot of that just so we can kind of figure out what that might be later. And then Fur was streaming and he showed this picture here. And if you look at the model on the right, it looks like there is a prosthetic metal leg here. It's hard to know for sure if that's not just... um some kind of decoration or not but it looks like they are going to be adding or tweaking the steampunk set and here's another view you can see there are some goggles that have been added looks like there are going to be some sleeves added maybe some shoes as well so i thought these were some exciting pictures um i know we haven't really had a new set for Halloween so I'm hoping this is going to be something that they're going to add I would assume so and you can see there are also some toggles here as well um, along with the hat so that's exciting and then here's another look at it from the front so hopefully that means they're working on more sets I'm excited that at least they're adding to the steampunk set for Halloween. So a lot of people think that because they're working on Royal Ween, that that means Campus 4 will be coming out with Royal Ween. So I really hope that is true. So all of this is super exciting. I can't wait. Um, obviously, we're all kind of counting down the days to the Royal Ween release and hoping that Campus 4 is coming with it. But that does make me wonder a little bit about Campus 3. When will we receive the rest of the stuff that is missing? I'm not sure, but all I know is I am definitely excited about Campus 4 and Royal Ween in the new set or at least the revisions to the steampunk set and everything else that Bianchi is streaming thank you guys for watching please subscribe to help out our channel we'll see you next time bye raydrops thanks for watching please subscribe